Today we're at Crossroads Elementary and for our first Beyond the Bell of the Year, I've got with me our new principal, Mr. Ben Monet. Ben, are you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So what are you most excited about joining the Crossroads family? So family means a lot to me. Uh, family is the basis of everything, how we have success in life. Uh, the bedrock of Crossroads is family. And uh, it's been a big family since I've gotten here. Our building sits right in the middle of the neighborhood, so yeah. it's like we're just another home in the neighborhood. Yep. Um, so I think that family aspect has been a big part of everything we've done so far. Perfect. So, you know, you've had a lot of different roles at a lot of different levels. How has that helped you prepare to lead a building like Crossroads? Yeah, I think one of the benefits of having uh, worked all the way up to the high school level uh, and now coming back down here is you know what the journey looks like. Yeah. You know what kids are going to be expected to do. Um, you've really thought a lot about how do you transition kids to life, and so now coming to this level, it's been really beneficial to think about how do we lay the foundation for everyone to get there. Yeah, you start with the end in mind and work backwards, and Perfect. so kind of exactly. here you are. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, what's some some of your priorities, or maybe your main priority that you want to accomplish this year? Yeah, uh, having a background as a special education teacher and working with kids a lot with uh, literacy. Uh, literacy is big for me. Yeah. How do we get every kid to where they can read and write and communicate? Uh, if we can do those three things really well. Kids can be lifelong learners, it doesn't matter what step into. So I really think we're trying to think about how do we create a literacy focused environment here for all of our students. I think that's a great place to start. Yeah. So some fun questions now. Yeah. Uh, they say you like to travel. Yeah. So what's your favorite destination that you've been to and yeah. why? So our family went recently to um, on a cruise and we ended up in uh, Old San Juan in Puerto Rico, which is really neat. So it's kind of a combination of history. Oh, yeah. uh, I would say if you haven't gotten out of the country before to know that there's life beyond when this country started, it was neat and to kind of see history that's lived there for a long time. So we love that and had a nice tour guide to go around Old San Juan, which is cool to kind of see all that. That's awesome as well. I put yeah. that on my list for sure. Yeah. Uh, so for the rest of this year, if you could only read one book or listen to a podcast, which one are you choosing, book or podcast? You know, I have a lot that I cycle through all the time. Uh, podcast is probably what I go with. Um, one of my favorite uh, is a Revisionist History from Malcolm Gladwell, oh, yeah. so you're in the Malcolm yeah. Gladwell stuff. Uh, he just likes to think about thinking and learning, so I, I enjoy that one a lot. That's awesome. Well, last question. Yep. Uh, I hear you're an avid sports fan as well, so if you could pick any event to go to, either present time, history, what are you picking? So, go off the wall here, but uh, 1964 uh, World Series, it's the Yankees and the Cardinals. Uh, you had Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris in it for the Yankees. I'm a big Yankees fan. Uh, but in game six of that series, the Yankees had to win to carry out the series. They won 8-3, to three, and my grandfather actually closed the game for the Yankees. So oh, wow. It would be neat to go back in time and kind of see him in his elements. He died when I was younger, so to go back and see him in action would be awesome. That would be so, really cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this with us. We've yeah. gone beyond the bell, and this is our new Crossroads Elementary principal, Mr. Ben Monette. Thank you.